received two grants and our project is about turning food into a public service for both people and pollinators to enjoy, rather than a product to be consumed. We're building strategic partnerships with local government and community groups for growing foods in public spaces that would otherwise function as parking or ornamental landscapes, as is often the case in New Zealand and overseas. Our implementations are grounded in co-design sessions. At the co-design sessions, we use a strategic foresight tool called the Futures Comb to co-create visions that all stakeholders can own and share. At the co-design session, we develop an actionable plan for growing edible public landscapes, where everyone is welcome to harvest, even if the produce was grown by someone else. We also co-design a list of healthy and culturally appropriate foods that may help support pollinator biodiversity. The Waharo intervention was finalized in January 2023. The 400 square meter former bowling green was leased by the Matamata Piaco District Council. A Maori community group, the Kaitiaki Trap and Train Trust, is leading the planting and management of the land leased by the council. The research team led the engagement, structured the project and sponsored the planting supplies to activate the site. We are now preparing to measure pollinator biodiversity and assess the impact of edible landscapes on healthier diets and people's well-being.